And we are back and excited for the start of this match between Parham Maksudlu and Brown Sedwani. Yeah, and if, if night D4 happens, um, which it looks almost nearly forced uh, at the moment. Oh, just, just rook takes e6. e6. Oh, he forgot about this move order. He thought if the queens get traded, the rook defends e6, but rook takes e6, bound, of course, by Ronak Sedwani. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna, not gonna miss a move like that, but let's be fair. I mean, Parham can't play games like that I mean, and expect to get away with it, especially not against the caliber of opponent that he's up against. Oh, and you can't even take this h2 pawn. What? He's going for the, the king and pawn him game. He's like, you can go rook h1 and go king f2, king g2 and win my h2 pawn. Even king c8 there would have held, but a draw greed. Wow, what defense, honestly, by like both players at certain points. Mm -hmm. Basically, the, the follow-up wasn't there. Um, oh, knight f3. A yeah, huge blunder. <laughs> that's not, that's just, he, he was in a downward spiral. G3 is so painfully placed. He can't go to g4 or g5. He can't go to, F3, I mean, you got to go back to like G1 to get back into the game. And look at that, just on the spot, right? You took the pawn and you lose the beast. That's just game over. And this is, but that's, yeah, that's basic stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> I have to say it, but that's a very simple tactic. The queen needs to guard C7 and be able to play queen F8 to meet this move. So he simply had to put his rook on a square. Queen takes G5, was queen takes G5. And then there's queen h4, queen g4, oh queen d1. It's a draw. It's a draw. I think it's... <gasps> oh, how can you... Oh, no. No, but he may still have the draw available. f5! Wow. Oh! <laughs> can black win this game? Yeah, queen h1, king e2, queen back to e4. Wait, Parm, don't lose your connection. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a queen trade. Did he mean to do that? I guess he did. Is that okay? Like, at first time, I thought that would just be losing because of... The pawn structure on over here. Now this seems really bad for Black. Or, Where is he going? What the heck? He lost all his pawns. Every single pawn. Yeah, you might need some of those. And then check. Okay. Wait, go back to F3. Yeah, and he's going in circles oh, here. Knight C5. Knight C5. <laughs> he, we, he waited for the king to come to E6 so he could use his knight. That was Beautiful. that was well done. And that knight is trapped, by the way, so it will be Wait, seconds. And Queen D2 is the worst option of those. Do you block oh your pawn? Oh my god. The queen D6. How do you get out of this? I don't think you are. You're getting close, by the way. If white can make one king move, you're getting close to being able to trade queens. That's right, yes. White oh, might I, win I, this game, by the way. Yeah. Queen H8! Maybe, oh my gosh, you can make G5! Oh. It was G, G5! Oh, G5's queen, me! Yeah, queen F6, Queen H6! <laughs> you called it! Oh my goodness! And look at Ranak. Oh, he he is distraught. And, and That is insane! Are there some kind of sneak? Oh my gosh, there's a sneak. Queen B8. If, queen B8. Yo, wait, but if you queened, was there queen F3 check and stalemate? Oh my god. I, I think I, that I, I think that was in the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can yeah, you yeah. could you can let black queen in some scenarios. That was oh, absolutely was, in the air. Like I was trying to figure it out. Like, can I get some kind of stalemate? And I'm going straight back there, Rob. I'm already queuing <laughs> up. I'm already queuing yeah, it up. After the game, that is I was looking like, can I make it work? This doesn't look like it works, though, because Queen H4 is coming with check. <laughs> yeah, he, he lost. But there was a stalemate in the air there. Thanks. Yeah, right. And if, you know, Wait, pawn takes free D4. Piece? <laughs> it is it's literally a free piece. <laughs> that's a knight hanging, no? He's going to play H4 really quickly and try to pretend that that's part of his plan. Oh, it was a sacrifice, of course. Not a blunder, a sacrifice. Brownock is like, wow, damn, that's a pretty good sacrifice, actually. <laughs> and. I'm just trying to justify it in any way, and I can't. H4 is happening immediately. He's going to do it so quickly. <laughs> yes, yeah. he's going to do it so quickly. That's not a blunder. I, what are you talking about? Doesn't want you to move. Oh, doesn't want me to play an 83? Oh, did that happen? It all happened. <laughs> that's oh, that's why it wasn't letting me play it. <laughs> right. And the frook is literally trapped for nothing. Oh, B4. Holy smokes. I definitely did not even consider any of this, so I would Knight probably H be thrown off guard. Knight h3 check certainly wins because it's double check. Then you go queen g1 and bishop takes f5. And we know Ronak is practical. It's also checkmate. So that's something he would do even that's if it true. wasn't checkmate. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, it's just... Bishop f5, king g3. Mate in one. Queen g <laughs> Mate in one helps. <laughs> about to say, oh no, knight g5. I mean, knight g5 be cannot be good. It's just losing. Yeah, it has to be because queen h2 to defend knight h3, there's knight f3. If you don't defend knight f3, there's knight h3. 
And he's got three seconds. Yeah, knight f3. He's not even gonna blink. He's just knight f3. Yeah. Mm, oh my god, they're <laughs> oh, Queen H3 <laughs> screaming at me. It's like, where is the checkmate by fours? He just goes knight h4. Yeah, now. knight and h4 I, is so classy. Uh, the, the rook on e2 is hanging for it's free. It's an entire rook. I didn't notice that at first, but now that I did, that's a full rook and a win for Ronick. So Ronick is playing so, so well there. And play f3. Wait, uh -oh. rook of seven! Uh -oh. oh my gosh, that's exactly how blunders happen. The tactics hit, but that's, I mean, that's why one minute advantage is valuable. A minute on the clock for Parham, he's not playing rookie four, no chance. And now it's a four point match. This is exactly what we're talking about, where Parham's not out of this. He is the higher rated bullet player by a little bit. Mm -hmm. And as we look, there are 20 minutes remaining in the three plus one, you score one victory maybe two more victories and right. now you're right back in the match and the french has served him well he goes back to it I mean, f7 is <laughs> looking pretty safe yeah and rook takes h4 hitting f4 also if you move bishop b2 or something then d3 huh right, that was a resignation that was like maybe he'll pre-move or ho hover over something else and you can't just give up that ball no and we're looking around like he's shaking his head in utter disbelief here yeah there's there's nothing going on here <laughs> Bishop takes e3. Oh, blunder. He blundered. I, I jinxed it. There's nothing you, going on here. But you can't take on d4 because rook d7. So black is still better and can press for a win. But that was a huge, huge blunder and a great spot by Rana. Rook e2. Yes, he trades. I take on e5, it's winning. Because if the rook moves, so that's why he... See, Rana is smart to do that, even though yeah. he's losing. But he knew for a fact that it would be completely lost. You know, if he traded, he, he loses that end game. So he's like, mm -hmm. let me hope he makes a mistake and like pre-move something. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. If you're if you're not careful, it definitely. You I think that wins. Rook a1, bishop d5, d2. Oh gosh, wait. He's just gonna play rook oh, yeah, d5. It's just, it's just not checked anymore. <laughs> that, that's game. Yeah. Simple as that. Oh, and Rana, you he's sitting him there. He's like, shakes his head, and he's like, whew, or rook f3. So now rook takes b2. And then rook yeah, yeah rook b2 and rook b4 looks winning. Oh, nice. I was thinking rook a2 and just cutting the king off, but this is just perfectly done. Rook takes f4. And I think it might even be winning without the a pawn. So the yeah. fact that you have it is just, I was it, you know it's winning. I was thinking the same exact thing. The rook b3, then go a3. Okay, rook h4 looks good as well. Yeah, rook b3, a3 looks, looks like the thing. Is there some stalemate? Okay, like with the king on h4, there's always a chance of stalemate. That's why he didn't leave the king there. And yeah. well done by Parham. Great decision. And now h4 is protected by the rook. So black just marches the king in. You could probably give up the e-pawn, but why would you? Yeah, it's just keep it to keep it, but. <laughs> we are back and I am super stoked, Amon. It's bullet time. And you know me, I love blitz. I like it more than bullet. But right now in this match, I couldn't be more excited because everything's gonna come down to this. I feel like Parham. He sees the initiative. Yep. He's still down three points, so I'm not sure how to weigh that. Parham is the high rating. He's the one who's won a bunch of recent Blitz games, but he's down. So if you had to pick who's going to come out on top, are we going to see tie breaks? Queen D5? Queen D5. Queen D5. Yeah, that's also good. But Queen Central. Oh, oh that's for Queen! Bullet trick? No. <laughs> oh, no, no, he, he didn't see it. He freaked out. Oh, my gosh. And there's no yeah. Rook D1 because the Queen covers. Mm-hmm. But takes takes Queen E8 check. Takes Queen E8, and there's no draw of any sort. Uh, Knight tried mate. What a mate! I remember seeing wow, like, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> a big win. Round knock on the board. You know, maintaining the fact that no, he's not gonna get blown out of bullet for anyone thinking that was gonna happen. Okay, I don't see that. Knight takes something. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, with the knight before, I thought he was just gonna take that and just be up a pawn. But yeah, yeah, I think. I think he like saw an AP4 and like didn't even register that things were hanging. Yeah, the way he's grabbing his head right now makes me think that he just mm -hmm. completely missed it. Oh my gosh, Bishop E5, Bishop oh E5. Oh my God, Bishop E5 is insane. <laughs> Bishop E5, I was just gonna show that one quickly. Bishop E5 runs into checkmate. Oh. And then if, of course, this one, you don't even just lose the exchange. You lose every single piece. Everything was hanging. Worse than bad. Oh, an 84. Resign, resign, resign. 
You gotta be resigning these. Yeah, you simply must. I just, it's, oof, oof. But good job by Roundup there because, I mean, unbelievable. And Roundup is, he's stressed. I'm looking at him. Yeah, he's but, not happy. H2. Yeah. Great move. H1 equals queen. Queen. <laughs> yeah. The farm, the farm's got this. But great by Roundup to waste time. It just doesn't feel good to be down a queen. So, like, even if it's smart from a match point of view to waste time, it, like, feels bad and it continues to feel, feel bad, man. Yeah, because you might need those precious seconds that you quote unquote wasted or took off the match clock earlier. You might need them for yourself if you're not careful. And you're just spending a lot of time looking at a lost position. So uh, here the, the clock runs out. It's still 10 and a half minutes remaining. And you are always good at reminding the audience of this. The final game just has to get underway. So what mm -hmm. Parham really needs to do is be within one point. Just so good now. Yeah, the trading and oh. Nice find by Raunek. Gotta he, resign this. He just played great. Yeah, you should resign. Parham needs to resign. Like, right now. Yeah, it's so much time. Exactly. It's a plus one yeah. second, and he's gonna resign. That's there the it right decision. Okay, this is obviously a super important game. I think if he doesn't win this game, Parham, then Raunek may have a strategy to just play for the time, the match clock, mm -hmm. um, and just not let things get underway, because it is one minute each plus one second increment that already adds about another minute minimum to, to these games. So the three minutes coming off the clock here, it has to be par hand win. Like you have to go rook takes D3 and just and go just down and change. Worse. And four seconds left. He's got four seconds. And, and there's clearly plenty of times. So all par needs to do is win this game. He, he can take his time. He should be in no rush. And there he goes. And there's under two minutes left. Round it, you know, I, he's aware that there's another game coming. And Parham, yeah. this dude is the, a comeback legend. Yeah, he's, he's a god. <laughs> like, what? Oh! Oh, I thought F2. I thought it wasn't I, Oh check. my god, I thought it wasn't check. I thought Black was suddenly going to win that game. Just oh, that F4, F5, me. F6. Yeah, that's that scared me there. Whew. Oh, F4, gosh. F5, F6, Our F7. Rookie, rookie 7, Queen 2, mate. <laughs> yeah, but either way. Wait, that's a Rook F1, mate? Yeah. How much time is that? A minute into... Imagine if this eight seconds was all the difference. We're like, Raunek wastes the remaining time. No, no, no. There's still time left. Parham yeah. knows it. It doesn't matter. There's going to be one more game, and it's going to decide everything, unless it's a draw. <laughs> That's true. Oh, Parham no, sorry. It, it's one more game to decide everything, unless it's a win, unless it's a draw in the match, is what I meant. Yes, so like play G4 or something. Draw by repetition. Oh, that's just... look at, oh look at that celebration. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, he is so pumped because he was on the verge of losing that match. I mean, l losing his advantage. Totally deserved victory because he fended off, Robert, the comeback that Parham mounts every single match we see him play. It was unbelievable. And you could see the jubilation, and all those nerves finally being released. He's victorious. He moves on to the final to face Niel Sarin.